Three years ago at Christmas, my grandson, Caden, asked for a zip line. So we got him one. We intended on putting it up out here between a couple of trees that we had in the woods that went down a slope, but that didn't work out for various reasons. So we got to looking around, and we found these tre two trees in the yard. Then we did the math and found out that we had to elevate it about 11 feet off the ground in order for it to work because the ground was flat. So we decided to build a tree house. Caden actually drew the plans for the tree house. We intended to stain the deck last year, but because of weather, we didn't get to it. This year, well, let's watch him stain it. So when you're setting up a straight ladder, okay, they put this figure on the side here, and it shows you level and plumb. You really want to pay attention to that because if you bring it in too narrow, bring it in too far, then the ladder will be tippy. If you have it too flat, that makes the ladder less strong because it turns it into like a truss instead of like a support. So you always look at the big L for level, okay? this on your side like this. Center it between your handles. There you go. Nope. Inside. Yeah. Nope. Nope. It's got a hook over this edge right here. The inside edge. See the groove? There. Like that. Now push it down there. Slip it around until you get it centered. And then push it all the way in. Start working where you're left thumb is, you got to work from one side to the other with your thumbs. Okay. Push it down on there real good. It'll run your thumbs all the way across it. You got it? Mm -hmm. Now it will pour pretty well, but it can still drip. So take your brush out and your roller out. Okay. And turn your pan around. Well, no, that'll, that'll work. Pull carefully. Whoa. Carefully. There you go. It's not bad. I see. Lay your lid on there. Keep it from drying. Set it over at the house out of the way. Give me that opener. You don't need it anymore. Alright. Put that over at the house. That'll keep bugs and things out of it. Just right in. There you go. I'd say right there. And start with your brush and smooth that out. Get this off of the board you're working on. Mm -hmm. Alright. That's good. Get that off of the board you're working on. You're doing this outside board first. 
if you want to. That won't work if I open that up, by the way. Okay. All right. Yep. You know how to wet it? You go in, in, in. Now run it up and down on there a bunch. All right. Now see how it paints. You always start away from the end and work to the end. Otherwise, you're going to leave big water paint at the end. You just can't get it. All right? All right? When you get down here, then you're going to run a roller strike all the way from that end all the way down to here, uh -huh. blending it. Uh -oh. Full length roller strike with no paint on it. All right? All right? Now, moving quick. You gotta move down and get the next one. Start away from it and go to it. You don't start on it. You're already wet here. You're not wet here. Start there and go to it. Okay? You always start away from where you're already wet. And keep going down. If you got plenty of paint, keep going on down. Until it starts to run out. That's probably about as far as you want to go. Alright, now. Now. Run you a stroke, starting up here, pulling it all the way that direction. All the way up here? Yeah, well, you can go. I'm trying to get you through this without having to use the brush a bunch. All right, do another one, get right over back to the edge. I'm going to have to use the brush to get on this edge. So. Oh, I guess whenever I do the outside lit. Yeah, you can get it do the outside. Okay? Now, you only want a little bit more because you just have a little short piece, so, so just bear, well, yeah, now, keep rolling it till you get it all around that roll. Start it, start the far end and come this way. Now you got way too much on there. Roll off as much as you can. Roll hard. Move your brush to the left and to the, your roll to the left and to the right. Clean the ends of it. Because your ends will hold it. Alright. Nope. Start at the far edge and come to it. Because you already have a wet edge, see? You don't want to pile up more paint there. All right. All right. Pick this uh, hair off here. All right. Now you can start that in. Well, I need to touch come up back spots with my brush. All right. Dip your brush in. Just the tip. No more than a half inch. Wipe it off as good as you can. And then you can use that rough card to do it. That's called tipping your brush. Okay? And then... Oh, well, with the grain? Yes. Yeah, hold it. You got way too much on it. Mm -hmm. Alright. It's all dripping on the outside here. When you're tipping, Make a nice long strokes, no little pokes. Okay? Okay. Yeah, looks okay for me. Hand me your brush through here. Well, I'll get that once I get that. Well, I don't want these big dark drips over here. Oh. That's what we got. A few places. Okay, so come back down here. Either way, you can start there or start the other end. Got, but while your stuff's wet, you got to keep painting because you don't want the overlaps and you try to stay off of the board you already painted you just do the next one you, oh, you already know that you've got about this much right so start here and go that way okay once you get that done pull it towards you and move on back okay. Let that soak in a little dab. And make sure you clean your roller really good every time. Okay. Whoa! Start back here and go this way. It's easy once you figure it out. Because see, now you don't have a big gob set in here, do you? Mm -hmm. What happens if you start it there? Then you got to even out a bunch of it out. You start off with where you ended and go to it. It's the same way when you're doing a wall.
What are we going to do about the gaps in between? We're not worried about them. So come back down? Yep, you're ready to do the next one. That was quick. Yep. It don't take long if you do it right. Up. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna get out of your hair and let you just do it. Okay. Just remember, some things work and some things don't. You'll figure it out whenever you start having them big old paint runs and drips and bubbles. Yep. You know. People will take a uh, sprayer, uh -huh. buy a cheap sprayer, mm -hmm. yard sprayer, pump up sprayer, mm -hmm. and they'll put it on with the pump up sprayer, and then come back with a brush roller and even it out. I don't like that, but it's it smart. Get it, huh? It's smart. The wind ain't blowing. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't seen anyone do it yet. Didn't get it all over. But it is a better way to get it before the board. Oh, you see that? What? I started from the right side. Alright. So what you got to do next... Hold on. Are you on board four yet? Yep. Is that the one that goes to the door? Uh, it's... That's about as far as you can reach, though, isn't that over... Can you reach over to where you started, the corner where you started yet? Well, can this you get one. to it? What? This corner where you started here, can you get to it if you have to? From here, yeah. All right. So after this board, you're going to take the tip, you're going to tip the brush, and you're going to go back, and you're going to do them cracks and level out everything that you put down so far. Ah, oh, see. Okay, you got to, you're going to just tip your brush, and you saw how good that brush picks it up, right? Yeah. And, that, and, and it'll drip on through and all that kind of stuff, which is fine. But you're going to get down the cracks with it. You're going to turn the brush sideways and mm -hmm. go down the crack with it as soon as you get this board finished. It's not even going down in there at all. Like, at all. Uh, did your brush tip? Huh? Did you tip your brush? Yeah, it doesn't go down in there. How long does this stain take to dry? Really? This one here should get down in the cracks. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Much better. 
after you get done with that, remember that's got paint thinner around you're thinning out what you're putting on for the first brush stroke or two. Make, hey, go back the other direction. You'll miss it. You gotta go both directions because some fibers are pointing left, some fibers are pointing right. Do you think that'll work if just one Yeah, stroke? you got a spot right here, it's still hidden paint. Paint it. Move over one. Toward me. There. There. You gotta go. There you go. Now you got the idea. That's what you do. Then you're gonna, as soon as you get done with this, you're gonna take your big brush and you're gonna brush it from end to end. Okay? Did I just spill that? No, you did good. You barely brushed it. Barely grazed it. Yeah. And then you said, take this and just... Yeah. And even it out. Okay, because wherever it's heavy, will take longer to dry and it'll, it'll look really dark. dark. Alright? That's good for now. That's as far as you've been with your other brush. Alright. You got the feel for it now? Yep. See how this process works? Good for Let me know when you're going to open the door. Okay. 
Oh, the lid's not on the lid. I got it. like a red oak. Yeah, fool some of the people some of the time. It won't be fooling you though. I do, yeah. I kind of know my trees. Plus you've lived here for a little bit. Yeah. I wouldn't say very long. I'd just say what? 30 years at least?
I'm almost there. I'm just edging around the house. Now I just have to blend.
break time on deck painting. So, while they're on break, I'm getting after it. I really enjoy working with someone who wants to invest themselves in the project at hand. Especially when that person not only wants to do a good job, but wants to learn how to do the job right. I think that Caden did a fine job. Not only did he take care to make sure that every surface was covered, but he also wanted to make sure that the coat was nice and even and that uh, he didn't have any spills. I really was proud. He did a fine job, I think. If you think so, would you please leave a comment? He will come by and he will read the comments. And if you think he did a fine job, I'd appreciate it if you'd let him know. Thank you. Well, it's been a couple of weeks since uh, Caden put the finish on the tree house. No one's been up there. Let's check and see how that finish came out. Nice and dry. Already got some cobwebs coming. That's a good sign. Whoop. Like a visitor joined us. But the finish on the ladder came out pretty good. Nice and even. Well, let's see. Yeah, we got a few leaves. Well, I'll tell you what, so far it's looking to me like you got that finish on that floor pretty even. Let me get up here. to judge for yourself. You see any overlaps? Huh? If you have the time, I'd really appreciate it if you'd Leave a comment and poke that like button. <laughs>